Welcome to Perth, the last game on Leeds United's pre-season tour of Australia. And what a spectacular opening we've had ahead of the fixture here at the Optus Stadium. Fantastic arena and a great venue for Leeds United to sign off as far as the work that's been done down under is concerned. We saw the opening game against Brisbane Raw that resulted in a Leeds United victory. Then we saw the game a few days ago against Aston Villa, which ended in a Leeds United defeat. So let's see how Leeds United can finish off this little trip away and build up towards the season with more Premier League opposition. Again, fantastic support for Leeds United inside the stadium in Western Australia. The team, the squad, the group have made the long trip across Australia from East Coast to West Coast. It's a five hour plus flight, two and a half thousand miles and Leeds United are almost out and ready to begin this game with Adam Forshaw leading the team as the um, ceremony takes place before the start of the game here. Reference was made to the indigenous population of Australia in the build up to the game by Jesse Marsh. That's uh, being reflected in this opening ceremony for the match here. The Crystal Palace side is missing several of its star names. Nine players have had to stay back in the UK. So Palace have brought a big squad, but lots of young players have travelled out with them. But still, a strong and familiar looking lineup that they're able to put out for this game in Perth this evening. For the Leeds team, well, again, there's an opportunity for some of the new signings to impress Aronson, Adams, Sinistera, and Christensen all in from the beginning for Leeds this evening. Now Bamford opens up for him and uh, support arrives. Bamford is he onside as he clips the ball, the shot in towards goal, the flag is raised. Oh, that's lovely football that as well. This is what I was, I mentioned it briefly right at the beginning of the show, how well Leeds United are pressing, how well we're pressing all over the field and it's creating a couple of problems, a couple of opportunities for us as well. And you see lovely little intricate um, uh, passing play there, pattern of play. Unfortunate not to have found himself onside. He just ju misjudged his run ever so slightly, but brilliant, brilliant football. And that's the sort of thing I want to see from Patrick. I want to see him in those areas, those positions, getting on the end of chances and, and you know, being slid through and seeing what happens. Palace clear and Eduard brings the ball high up into the Leeds half and suddenly bodies arrive and they have additional bodies and there's a clipped ball into the penalty area. And an acrobatic volley goalwards from Eduard. As Leeds have a man down here requiring treatment. This is the sharp intake of breath moment, isn't it? When the, uh, the manager watching is hoping that uh, never good. key players aren't going to be lost to him. We saw Archie Gray stretch it off in that uh, previous game. Good to see him back and involved for Leeds on the bench this evening. So that injury ultimately didn't prove too serious. And that's exactly what we hope will be the case here. But the shake of the head from Sinistera doesn't suggest that he's too confident about being able to continue here. Lovely layoff to Rodrigo, and Rodrigo, well, he had the option to shoot then, and instead he went across the penalty area, maybe looking for Aronson, 
but uh, mishit that one and acknowledges the error. But that's the best opening leads I had, isn't it? It is indeed. Look, exactly as I mentioned before, look at that lovely touch from Patrick. Rodrigo, brilliant first touch as well. You would maybe have asked for him to take it a little bit further across goal, in towards goal, but he gets stuck in two minds here. That's a lovely layoff into the path of Bamford. Bamford yeah. has his shot. And Patrick Bamford's shot is deflected wide and behind. Lovely little layoff into his path from Rodrigo. And that was good build-up play. Started from the back from Leeds and almost brought the first shot on target. Exactly. And you, you have to look at it. Look how direct it is, that pass there. Lovely little back heel there from Rodrigo to Patrick. They know exactly where each other is. And I don't expect Patrick to pass it back to Rodrigo in that situation. You're on the edge of the 18-yard box. Have a shot. Good header down from Christensen. Somerville goes down under the challenge, looks towards the referee, and I think Leeds have a penalty kick. <laughs> it looks it, doesn't it? <laughs> initially, I initially thought it was a penalty kick as well. Um, it looked like a little bit of uh, contact on Somerville from Ward. It's soft. <laughs> you see a little bit of an arm You'd in the shoulder. You'd be claiming that, Jimmy. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. I'm a, I'm a forward. <laughs> of course. Um, but you can understand why, uh, why Ward's a little bit uh, frustrated with that decision. Rodrigo takes a really good penalty kick, strikes it firm, hard into the bottom corner of the net. And Leeds United it is who take the lead against Crystal Palace. Rodrigo from the penalty spot, the Leeds fans behind the goal have reason to celebrate. Lovely, lovely penalty. He did, did exactly as I said. Uh, I'm glad he listens. <laughs> <laughs> it was a really calm, really composed penalty as well. And that's exactly what you want to see from somebody that's uh, one of the more experienced members of the squad. Leading by example. Not, it, there's no messing around in that penalty as well. Hard and low into the bottom corner. Keeper's bottom right. Right in the corner as well. Great penalty. Really well taken be described as the perfect penalty that one wouldn't it I think uh, it would be unlikely that any keeper would ever stop that put it down to a little bit of rust yep he is still getting up to speed as um Battle goes on in midfield. Greenwell, that's a great ball. Now then, Gelhart is put through here. Little chip from Gelhart and Goita just manages to get fingertips to the ball and it drops beyond the post when it looked like it might drop over the goal line. Oh, that was lovely play. Lovely centre-forward play, but what a pass that was initially. Look at that. You see uh, Joe Gelhart sees Ge uh, Goita off the line. First four as a centre-forward, what do I do? I'm going to lift it over him. He's very, very unlucky. Very unlucky. Um, but the goalkeeper gets just enough on it to push it wide. That's exactly what we want to see. Get the ball in behind. Get those runners in there. So the corner kick. Harrison plays it into the middle. It's cleared away. Cleek waits to pick up four leads. Up to the edge of the box. And uh, suddenly... Leeds attack turns into Leeds defence as Ayu is streaking through. Ayu's into the penalty area. Ayu squares it and there's the equalising goal. Leeds undone as Mateta gets up to help out and he forces the ball over the goal line and Crystal Palace draw level and it all started from their own penalty area. Yeah, it did. And that's, that's one of the issues, one of the problems that you're going to come up against when you commit so many players forward. Look, it's... it's a little bit fortunate to, to win the ball off click there but Ayu shows great pace great determination to get away from him create a little bit of space I thought he's going to go for goal very very selfless of him and again Klitschi nearly got on the end of it to, to clear it but because of the angle of the ball he does get a touch on it pushes it you know ultimately into Mateta's path and um, gets the equaliser it's frustrating but this is something that we've got to see happening and learn from it yeah, you're right, Jermaine, and it's been an area in pre-season where we've seen a bit open at times, especially the games out in Australia. You put it down to pre-season at times. Well, 
as Ayu goes down, the referee waves play on and Leeds can maybe take advantage with Klich trying to set something up here to Gelhardt. Gelhardt with a chance of a shot! And it produces a good reaction from Goeta, who has at full stretch to fingertip the ball behind for a Leeds United corner kick. Joe Gelhardt is making us excited for the season to come, I think, isn't he? He is indeed. It's a great starting position from himself as well. And that's what we want to see. We, we want to see the players having a shot at goal. We want to see them creating opportunities and chances. There's danger potentially for Leeds here. Held the ball up quite well, actually. Forced it out to the penalty area. And things were developing for Crystal Palace in the final few seconds of regulation time. Still there for Crystal Palace to play into the penalty area. And the heads go up. And that was a great chance for Mitchell. Right in front of goal. And didn't make proper contact. And he knows he surely should have scored. He does indeed. And you can see the players on the bench, Mateta, um, Ayu having a little bit of a chuckle about it as well because they know, you know, he does everything right. He gets in the, around the back of Somerville. So, he, you know, he's going to be favourite to get the header in as well. He heads the ball down, but he, he gets it too far down. And uh, sometimes that does happen. It does happen. Very, very fortunate uh, from a Leeds angle. But from a Palace perspective, you expect it to be 2-1 to Crystal Palace with Mitchell on the score sheet now. Somerville in to win the ball back. Palace are lively though. And when it's played forward, there's a problem. And it's played through the middle. And Leeds have got to get bodies back. And there's still a problem. And there's a third opportunity for Phillips coming goalwards here. Well, this is crazy stuff. But ultimately, it's got to be handball. The uh, referee has um, given Leeds United a free kick. Phillips kicks the post in frustration because um, that was a, another real chance, wasn't it? It was huge. It was lovely, um, intricate play by, by Palace there. But, you know, I think Phillips tried to do a little bit too much. One pass too many. Uh, but the final pass wasn't quite in front of the uh, Jack Harrison there. Great positional sense from him. And the referee has decided that that's all we're going to have in terms of the action here. And uh, it's been another hard-fought game for Leeds United as the pre-season programme in Australia at least comes to its conclusion. Hugs for Marsh and Vieira. Uh, not always hugs on the pitch, lots of yellow cards and a goal apiece as well. Leeds United through Rodrigo from the penalty spot and then Mateta equalising for Palace from a swift breakaway after Leeds were attacking. Full-time scoreline here in Perth. It's finished Leeds 1, Crystal Palace 1.